Hello, it's me again. Uh, you might have noticed I'm in a slightly different location today. Um, I thought I would move out of the bedroom and into the countryside. Um, this particular bit of countryside is perhaps about a mile to two miles away from my house. Um, it's really lovely. There's lots of horses around. I don't know if you can see one in the background there. Loads and loads of horses and it's just really nice. It's usually quite quiet but there's been lots of cars going past so uh, please excuse us. First of all I want to say thank you very much for everybody who has subscribed to my channel uh, recently. I've now got 131 which is incredible really. Uh, so thank you very much for that, that's brilliant. Um, so um, that's the first thing. Second thing to say is um, on my last vlog I chatted about um, the fact that there was some trees outside my window in my bedroom window and uh, they were banging on my window and keeping me awake and it was quite scary really because I thought they were going to come through the window. Um, since then I've had a man come round from the council. Uh, well it wasn't just one man it was two. Uh, it was the boss and the workman and um, I, wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't in when they did this but apparently they got the workman was stood on the roof of the van, um, cutting down branches from the tree. Uh, anyway, they've done a really good job. Uh, they've probably chopped about six branches off, um, and it hasn't spoiled the tree at all. You can't, unless you're sort of looking at my bedroom window, you can't actually tell. Uh, and in fact, even if you're looking at my bedroom window, if you don't know, uh, then you wouldn't see it. Uh, but it's much better. Nothing bangs on my window now, let's put it that way. So that well, that was a result, I would say. Um, I have been <laughs> thinking that I'm turning into a grumpy old woman. Um, ever since I moved into my new house, uh, I keep finding things that I'm not terribly happy about. Um, nothing that can't be resolved. Um, but maybe it's just because I'm in my own place now and I just, I'm just quite particular about it. Um, a couple of things come to mind really, well three things. One is the, the rubbish. I take our bin up about once a fortnight which seems to be quite usual for this country now that you, you have your bins emptied once a fortnight. Um, and people are sort of taking them up in the wrong weeks and rubbish is all over the place. So I did complain about that and everybody got a letter um, saying <laughs> careful what you do with the rubbish really and um, I'm not sure if it was my letter that prompted that but uh, people are trying not terribly well but they are trying um, so we'll see how that goes the other thing was that was a privet hedge at the end of the alley that runs down the back of my house um, privet hedge on both sides of the alley really and they weren't keeping them cut back so if it had been raining or anything you go through then you get absolutely soaking wet through so again I wrote to the council and um, I think somebody from the council came round with their sort of electronic clippers and clipped it back and everything. And I have a feeling they told the two owners of the houses that they had to do it from now on. Anyway, they're not doing too bad with that, so that's all right. The third thing at the moment, which is pretty much unresolved really, is um, British Telecom have decided to put a telephone wire running across my property. Now it, it really wouldn't be too bad if first of all they'd asked me if it was okay and secondly if it wasn't so close to my window. This is the bathroom window which is at the back of the house. Um, it's about between 12 and 18 inches from my window um, which is ridiculous it really is. So I keep writing emails to them and they keep writing back saying um, we're busy we'll get back to you. Oh, what was the question again? Um, and it's back and forth, back and forth, which is a bit annoying, really. They sent me one of those um, satisfaction surveys the other day, asking me about my satisfaction of the email service they offer. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, all the categories I ticked that it was rubbish. So let's hope, well, I, I was going to say let's hope that does some good, but um, I'm not really sure if it will. So. I am turning into a grumpy old woman, but I don't care because somebody's got to complain about these things really, don't they? I do have some sad news about my garden. <sighs> the tomato plant has died. I'll get that out of the way now. Um, the reason why it's died is because it's waterlogged. Because it's rained so much that it's just absolute... Well, it's drowned. I can't put it any other way. It drowned. 
I got one tiny little green um, tomato and that's as far as it got so that's rubbish um, the, all the vegetables that I planted again have drowned it's just rained so much the lettuce, the spring onions, the beetroot gone so I never even got a chance to use that. I'm, I'm just thinking that maybe I should have planted them in the garden rather than in those tubs because I'm thinking maybe they didn't have much scope in those tubs. Um, maybe, well, I'm going to leave it now till next year because I'm a bit disappointed about it. So, and um, rain sort of sums up our summer so far. Um, today, believe it or not, is not too bad. I mean, it's not raining for a start off. Um, there is a bit of blue sky and it is meant to get warmer later on so let's see um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was the Olympics um, I'm not sure how many people saw the opening ceremony on Friday um, I, I didn't watch it all because I was at work for the first sort of three quarters of it I saw the last hour and a, a bit and it, I, I was knocked out I have to say I was absolutely knocked out by it the fireworks were amazing the way that it lit the torch was unbelievable I was just in awe or gobsmacked if you like um, it was fantastic um, I know that in the UK the coverage was brilliant um, in some parts of the world you kind of just got snapshots of what happened but we uh, saw the entire five and a half hours which or four and a half hours I think it was actually um, which, which was amazing uh, it really was um, I have to say, my favourite events in the Olympics are anything that Great Britain are competing in, that we have a chance of a medal in. I'll add that little bit in there, because we, we do try. We're, we're very much a nation that tries a, a bit of everything, but we're only good at a few things. Um, and uh, I think those are rowing, cycling and sailing. <laughs> And seeing as though we're surrounded by water, I suppose it's no surprise that, it, that sailing and rowing are in there. Um, but, you know, sometimes they do throw surprises up. We, we, when we send people to the Olympics, we kind of say, oh, we've got, we've got some really good competitors in this, this category and that category. But in reality, we're probably going to get about three or four gold medals, maybe, out of everything. Um, but we're optimistic. And I say we are optimistic for a little country, um, so expectations are high. Um, I'm just wondering what your favourite event is, um, uh, what, what you actually actually love watching. Um, it'd be really good to get some feedback on this video just to see what you enjoy watching. Apart from that, I haven't really got an awful lot else to say. Um, I do hope this video comes out. I hope that you're not just seeing the bottom half of my face or the top that you know or the top part of my head is missing. Um it's a bit sort of happy go lucky this video. So uh, so uh, I shall see you again probably next month. Um enjoy the rest of this month and uh, I shall see you again very soon. <laughs>